The Victory Community Centre is set to host a workshop for those affected by violence or cyberbullying on August the 7th from 7 to 8.30pm. The workshop is titled Strong Together and will be run by leading internet safety and risk assessment consultant John Parsons. Main NTV's Raj Agarwal sat down with Mr Parsons to discuss the importance of the national issue to the Nelson community. We're now joined by John Parsons, a leading internet safety and risk assessment consultant. John, thanks for joining us. Good morning. Now, can you start by explaining the Simulate to Educate program that you've started and just give us some details about that? Uh, Simulate to Educate uh, works in schools, uh, the private sector and the health sector, and we provide education um, to all members of those sectors around uh, cyber security, um, how to use the technology ethically within schools. Um, we provide professional development for staff and teachers. Um, in how to develop policy as well. So we cover a wide range of issues around the use of technology in those sectors. Now there's three different sectors. There's the education sector, the health sector, and the private sector. Correct. Can you explain the differences between these three? Within the schools, primary, intermediate, and college, we'll go in and deliver values-based education. It is very much um, strength-based learning, looking at the past success that individuals have demonstrated and, and really building on that. It's values-based. When we go into primary age schools, we give them good um, skills in how to use the technology ethically to support themselves and their friends, but also their family. We want to teach young boys and girls how to go home, back into the house, and teach mom and dad how to, um, to use the technology um, with safety in mind. The same through the intermediate age as well, and then when we get into the colleges, we help um, students learn to prepare for employment. Uh, it's called reputation management. We help them look at their digital footprint on the internet, how to manage that going forward, um, and how to get the best out of this technology. Private sector, it's um, cyber security, helping the organizations uh, create a strong uh, perimeter, uh, understanding the relationship that the employee has with the organization while they're working, but also when they go home into the home environment, how they use the technology that actually belongs to the private sector or the organization. Often there are data breaches or data loss because uh, employees um, have used the technology without real consideration for the policy and the contract um, that they've signed up to use. Uh, in the uh, health sector, um, I work with a lot of families, um, boys and girls particularly, that end up in crisis where they've been bullied or abused through the use of the technology, or in fact where they've been connected to by predators across the internet. I'll work with those families and those individuals to help them get through that situation, and that will often involve um, uh, the health sector as well being involved in their therapeutic capacity and often our paths will cross together um, to work through those issues. What that resulted in was professional development for doctors, psychologists and other members of the health sector as well. So it has really grown from the demand that we see in the community. Now you've travelled all around the world talking to families, speaking around the world. Do you see some of these issues affect New Zealand and specifically Nelson, some of these similar issues? I'm asked that quite a lot about Nelson and other regions. I don't see any particular region as being affected anything any differently to any other region. We're all at risk um, in various ways. The risk that is presented to us is often created because of our age, our circumstance. Um, for instance, I work with senior citizens that have lost $7,000 or $8,000 or significantly bigger amounts of money. And you, when you meet a senior citizen that's been married for 40 years and they've recently lost their partner, they often become isolated and disconnected and then they are targeted by criminals on the internet um, for their assets that they've taken a lifetime to build. When you work with a girl or a boy that's 12 or 13 that is in Facebook or any social network where they're connected to a thousand strangers, if one of them is a predator and the mother and father is not in that network with them, then that girl or boy is at risk. And um, But we don't see any difference from region to region. But Certainly across the country, these are issues that we've all got to deal with. 